So this is going to be quick. Uh, people in the stream are asking me to cut this particular section out and put it on my gear channel and boosted laser because you never know where people are interested or maybe people are going through some things. Um, you need to watch this exact episode right here. This just came out a day ago. Uh, yeah, so this date would be correct. This is what I work with. Some of you I know on Discord or in real life. And you've heard me talk about this for 12 years that this game has been out. One Discord in particular. Shout out to Calvin and the boys. I've shown pictures and vids and information and told things over the years that I was instructed to tell. Yes, I'm in the Space Force. Uh, no questions till the end and I may only do one or two. For those of you that know I'm injured but I haven't really spoke much about why it's related to this. Some of you wonder why I have one to two surgeries a week for oh god it's about four months now on Friday it's now um, what is today? Saturday? Yeah on Friday I had a surgery I lost track of time a little bit this Monday I have to go back again it has something to do with what's in this video but if you're into such things or you'd like to go deeper uh, answer one question yes I want to end this in just a second yes you should if you're into such things you should watch all of them uh, we leak a lot of info here I have I'm friends with a few guys on this show I wouldn't say good friends. Maybe acquaintance is a better word. Yes, that is also true that I've removed people from YouTube and they've talked about it. I've made videos of such. But anyway, this is one of the most important of 20 seasons. 19 episodes into this season. You should watch this. Due to some timing. I have to be cryptic here. I'll leave it at that. But you should watch this. Anyone remotely interested in such subject matter. Some of you might even be in the program. I could make another vid about that or make this one longer. But there are some telltale signs. Anyway, watch this. This is just the... I only have this box this big, but this is the Ancient Aliens actual um, site off of History Channel, but there's other means of getting such things as well. But this is the one that you want to see right now. Alright, one or two questions. Can you say before the Space Force what you did? I'm not going to go through my whole history in the government. But I can tell you that I walk... Uh, wait. Oh, I didn't read the rest. Relating... Oh, okay. So, only relating to this stuff. Yeah. No, I didn't... <laughs> I don't want to make this vid too long, but something happened in the Marines that jump-started my career into this subject matter. Um, so before the Space Force as a contractor, I worked for the Fast Walker program, and a lot of people think that my name in this game 
fast car is because I'm a pro drag racer and that, you know, I'm on TV and magazines and newspapers. A lot of you have seen footage or vids or me on TV. And while that does fit, that's not actually where this came from. I had to get an okay for this. Everyone in the original Fast Walker program guess you could google that or look it up if you're interested everybody's handle had fast in it fast forward right and <clears throat> you've never heard this before i'm the first person that's ever released that info but everyone on the teams that was the agent their handle started with fast correct in my case, just because somebody of a higher pay grade knew that I was really in the cars, which also, and I have to be cryptic here, uh, has something to do with this. That's how I actually got the name Fast Car, was from when I worked there. And then after it was basically shut down I guess I could say that. Um, I was able to use that name uh, in video games. So that's why in the game, I'm Fast Car. It came from the Fast Walker program. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that, but I'm sure you... C I've never done it, but you can probably uh, Google or YouTube Fast Walker or program and... I don't know how much will be accurate or what it's going to say, but I'm sure you could dig something up. Uh, maybe one more question. I want to definitely keep this under 10 minutes. What were you eating on the stream? Uh, my chef made amazing organic, everything organic, eggplant parmesan, super cheesy, with nice sauce. It was. It's not something I have often. In fact before yesterday I don't think I've had it for five or ten years I'd have to put thought to it and it was marvelous I took pictures I could throw them on my discord if you want to see one sec yeah so there's some important subject matter one thing I'm dealing right now with my medical issues but some stuff they talk about and you people should listen. This is not a bit. This is a fact. It's a real fact. If I see an interesting question in 30 seconds, I'll answer it. Otherwise, I'm going to end the video. There's the normal trolls talking about the aliens have sexy feet. <laughs> All of this. Are shape changers real or shape shifters? Yes. Some things I have to be cryptic about, some things I don't. Uh, if one had an extra moment or two, you could Google or YouTube the lead singer from the Smashing Pumpkins. Does anybody know his name? On the Howard Stern Show. And I don't know what exactly to search, but put, is that it? Billy Corrigan? Is that his name? One could search Billy Corrigan, Joe Rogan Show Shapeshifter. And I'm sure if it hasn't been deleted from existence, uh, you might on Google or YouTube hear some interesting stuff. Not many people are courageous enough or dumb enough to talk about things. I could tell you I know this case very well, or I used to, and this was on the level. Uh, in the initial report, he said some things that someone could never have guessed or just made up blindly. Some very specific details that 
what he said was fact. I don't know what you'll be able to find, what hasn't been scrubbed yet, but okay, and I don't know if it's 10 minutes yet, maybe one more. Do you still work for the Space Force after being injured in the Miami? Oh, so you must be a true fan from the vlog. Yes, it was the event in Miami that started all this in Florida. Uh, it was on the news. It was a huge story. There was hundreds and hundreds of cops and agents that showed up when some creatures... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to go into it, but... Uh, technically, yes. Um, we'll have to see. I'm, I'm healing rapidly. Uh, very rapidly, let's say. Um, in two out of the three locations on my foot. In fact, the, for those that saw pictures or video of the wounds on my foot, on my <laughs> passenger side, I guess from my perspective, my right foot, uh, the first wound, which was about the size of a, a piece of wonder white bread as far as the dimensions, it's about 95% closed up in depth and I guess in height and width. Uh, the one in the middle of the foot is about 60% closed. And on the heel, it's, uh, as of Friday, 20%. Uh, the other wounds on the, between, let's say, the ankle and the knee are about 97, they tell you, they take measurements, 97% healed. Uh, there's some other issues uh, in, I'm really shortening this and not being technical, inside the leg that are yet to be determined. My driver's side leg, or from my perspective, the left, in general, so where the two rounds went in, barbs, barbed rounds, we call them, from the creature, those holes have been shut. This was not my healing, this was technology. The various other wounds on that leg are, yeah, about 97% or co co very close to 100 Uh, what was the second thing he said? Uh, can you walk yet? It's been four months. Uh, yes, I could. But when I do, it causes injury. Um, because it's not fully healed. Uh, in my foot. And what was the rest? Yes, I have a... I showed pictures when it happened, a, <laughs> I'm going to be cryptic and make this the short version, I have a robo-toe now that civilians will find out about if probably a few years from now, uh, so I'm no, I, I have five toes, but one is not mine, let's say. And it moves and all of these things. It's actually quite strong. I can, with my pinky toe, rest it gently on a nail going into a 2 by 4 You know, it's only got like a quarter inch left before it's fully in. Or a very short nail. And without stomping or anything, I can put that pinky toe on it and just push it right in easily. Like you could have thumbtack into a cork board. But this is another video. Oh my god, we're almost at 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, so 
The thing is, I could walk on this, kind of gimpy, but it would continuously injure me and it would take many years to heal. Assuming I didn't cause an infection or something, it's just easier to let it heal and be kind of handicapped-ish for another few months. Why do you have to go uh, for surgery once or twice a week? Well, it has something to do with this video I'm talking about and what's happening to the guy, Whitley, with his ear. That's all I can tell you for right now. I have to be cryptic on that, but that's what I'm going through. <laughs> I wish I could tell you more. Right, maybe one more uh, feet. They're asking about lucidity, J Mac. Are you really leaving for Throne and Liberty? Yes. I don't know how for, how long I'll leave for it. I don't know if I'm going to play it full time in Guild Wars some, but uh, we've already pre-purchased the game. It's, yeah, there's a couple people that I know of from Guild Wars. I'll tell you, I wish Lucidity. If anyone is not blocked by Lucidity, ask her to contact Fast Car for one message. I would like if if uh, Lucidity played with us because Lucidity has a certain aggression in the game. I'm going to be playing support healer, and you know, right. There's elements that lucidity, there's certain other people would fill it too, but if you're not blocked, tell lucidity to contact Fast Car. I unblocked her. Uh, or just tell lucidity it's about Throne and Liberty. Fast Car's wondering, uh, will they play? Okay, that's that. Uh, anything else that was interesting? Yes, this entire video. They're all good. All of them. You should watch this series. For a while... Yeah, I saw your question. For a while, those of you that used to read discords, I, I worked with um, a different program that dealt with... Uh, i got to be careful here. Ancient structures, buildings, walls, megalithic blocks. For example, the Egyptian pyramids, the great one most of you know, and Puma Punku, and right, all of these places. Uh, when we were finding out... i got to be careful here. When we were tasked to find out how were these blocks moved and I'm not talking about the little ones. The, and before someone says, oh, they use trees as rollers. No, they didn't. <laughs> not on blocks that are 200, 500, and up to 1,200 tons. It, it would smash instantly, I promise you. Um, yeah, so I worked with such things, and we discovered how that worked and how they did it. And if you know anything about what I'm talking about, how these walls are so perfect and they look like jigsaw puzzle pieces, the blocks. Some of you won't know what I'm talking about, but those that do are going, oh, this is awesome. And you can't fit a credit card or even a human hair between them. We know how this was done now. And even how Coral Castle was done, which was the same technology by Ed Leed Scalden or whatever his name was. It's been years since I was there. Uh, okay, yeah, this is so long. So do you still technically work for the Space Force? Yes, uh, but I'm not active right now. Obviously, because I'm injured, I have constant medical stuff going on and I can't be jet setting around and using let's leave it at that uh, 
There's so much dumb stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Is everything... This is the last one, and then I'm going to end this. Is everything in this episode a fact? Uh, I haven't finished the episode yet. Uh, I have about ten minutes left. But as of the first... I don't know, 30 minutes. Uh, yes. And they're kind of barely scratching the subject. The Galactic Federation... This is what I deal with now. I have to be careful here. Um, is it true? Well, yeah, they're asking, is the Space Force real? Well... I've talked about it for 12 years on Discord, way before anyone else knew about it. I've talked about non-terrestrial officers, and I showed documents and pictures years and years, 12, 11, 10 years ago. Yes, uh, Donald Trump, when he was running, and even when he was president, talked about the Space Force continually when no one else did. I'm not going to go into this, but yes, he knows a lot on these subjects, which is why what they tried to do, <laughs> I, I got to tiptoe around this subject. But anyone in, in a high political office, from Kennedy to Reagan, to, yeah, the list goes on, they get canceled permanently. Uh, that's what happens. Hell, you could YouTube Ronald Reagan alien speech. He said this on national TV. Go, go and do it. Just type, you know, president for you young people, Ronald Reagan alien speech. And in front of the, the whole planet, see what he has to say. Flat out facing the camera. And I assure you, he wasn't trolling. Uh, what is the... F well, yeah, why would we have a space force, right? If we... Would we just make a name up? Again, I have to be cryptic here, but... We have a navy, and they have boats, right? And ships, and etc. And we have an air force, which has conventional planes and a few... We call them platforms. Related things that you could wrap your head around. Why do we have a Space Force? What the, What do you think we must have to have a Space Force? There's got to be vehicles. What is the... Well, the, the first fleet is called Solar Warden. And what ship are you on? USSS Hill Encoder. I'm not going to go into that here, nor could I. So I'm going to end with this. If you're interested in such subjects and not trolling, you're welcome to talk to me on my Discord or Calvin's or I'm currently on Indo's or even the AR Discord. I used to do red pill chats. There's a famous video that's two or three hours long where bunches of people wanted to know about such things maybe eight or ten years old and there was people on discord that were asking me questions about all of these topics and I answered all of them what I didn't know is there was a guy who was googling every single word I said in a of 105 questions I answered 103 of them after some searching this guy was a fast typer and knew his way around the net um, just about all the questions what I said was facts when he was fact checking me I didn't know this guy was doing it but it's in the video it's hours long and the three that they thought I couldn't get right. There was just no info that 
yeah, they thought it was just wrong or bad. What it really was is there was just no info on it at the time. But years later, it's a different story. Uh, wait, let me read this. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if there's not trolls, I... The problem is, if you get a bunch of people on Discord, half of them are going to just be dumb, pothead troll kids that are just going to say, Do you get anal probed every day? You know, whatever dumb, unfunny kids say that are immature. But if there was a bunch of normal people, yes, I would do it on Discord or even an interview. Would you ever do an interview with Nudie? Sure. There's a few people I would talk to. There's some guy from AR. His name is Escaping. He keeps begging me for interviews, but it's about Mag. I don't know. I think that this is so much longer than I wanted. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I have... You know what? I'm going to end this. It's 26 minutes. Uh, keep in mind, some of you may know this. Some of you might know partially some of this. And some of you won't know this at all. Millennials and dummies that are high all the time. The U.S., first of all, militaries around the world I'm gonna just take America out but all other militaries have technology and knowledge that's five to fifty years ahead of what the public knows right just to give you something to wrap your head around the military had the internet as you know it years before you got the internet. The militaries had GPS America uh, many years before the public ever heard the letters GPS. We gave that to you. The current military GPS is similar, but it's way more accurate. Until somewhat recently, it was about three times better resolution and accuracy than civilians. So let's say that your GPS is within a 10 feet circle, right? The military one was about three feet at the time. Now it's unbelievable, that's what I could tell you. Anyway, that we know of, most militaries and or governments in general are, are several to about 50 years more advanced than what the public knows. And just to give you something to wrap your head around, there's subjects in science. Do you know what the strong force is and the... Right, the weak force, right. So if you go to any university and say, how many laws is there? I'm not talking about the Congo and anything with Stan in it, but Russia, China, a few others, they know that there's three more laws that are not taught in schools. And if you were to tell any professor, they would go, no, that's not real, because they just don't know yet. It hasn't been, it hasn't trickled down. Right, there's propulsion technology that the military has had in, in America's case. I don't know, I don't think China, maybe Russia, but I'm, I don't even think them. This is not exactly what I do. But propulsion that's 50 years ahead of what the public knows or thinks is possible. And then there's other, <clears throat> I have to be cryptic here, means of, I don't want to say propulsion, moving around <laughs> that doesn't work 
the way that we do it as civilians. In other words, propellers are a jet, right, where it sucks air in, shoots it out the back, and then you go squirting forward. Yeah, people, people are calling it anti-gravity and all of these things. Yes, this we are way ahead of this. But there's reasons this has not been released to the public because the same tech... There, I'm not going to get into that here, but there's a whole lot of reasons that this isn't released to the world and public. We, we'd all be dead in, in days, probably. Certainly within a year. Ev gone. If we didn't demolish the planet into powder to boot... But I'm not going to talk about this here. But yes, so that's other countries. is about eh, 5 to 50. America is between 5 and hundreds of years if technology advances in a linear rate. Can you give us any examples? Mm, one. The rest, no. <clears throat> Computers, as you know them, as a civilian, are electron-based. There's high power requirements, and there's a lot of heat generated because of this. There's massive power supplies, and even though things are quite small today compared to, let's say, the 70s or even the 80s, for those creatures that have high tech like us or higher, our shit is gigantic. <laughs> like, gigantic. Um, shortly to the public, can I say this? Will come photonic. Now, we've had this, I have it here. 10 feet from me uh, what you'll call a computer and number one being photonic it's way faster there's almost no heat generated and it needs way more way less power so things are give or take can be about a hundred times smaller than what we have and they're also a hundred this is not my uh, area but they're a hundred or a thousand times I guess faster or more powerful this will come to the public in your lifetimes assuming you don't drop dead next Friday what was the other thing this will come to the public there's a device I don't know the name of it this is not my this is so long. Expertise. I really got to end after this. Uh, so people get build up in the various tubes, veins, arteries, etc. in the body. That is calcium. And I'm not going to get too technical here. But there is build up that gets inside your tubes. Junk. Goo. Solids. And not cholesterol, which is a big scam. Don't oh, what I could tell you about statin drugs. <laughs> I could, without getting myself in trouble legally, I will tell you, I would never take them. <laughs> oh, statins are bad news. Anyway, there is buildups that get in the heart and in the various tubes in the body. Uh, we have some meds and chemicals and ways to deal with this today, but it's very crude. As crude as when people used leeches to cure, hopefully, or help certain medical conditions. Those that are really young will not know what I'm talking about. The intelligent people will. They used to put leeches on people and bleed them out 
or sometimes just bloodletting. Somebody has cancer, get a knife, slice them open, drain that blood out. And if they survive, maybe the cancer will go. This was a real thing. We look at that, you know, at the time this was high tech and we thought, can't get better than this. We look at it now like these savages. So we have some ways to deal with buildup and goo and gunks in the heart in the various tubing. Uh, at first, you're, there's going to come out <clears throat> a device shortly that will connect to your arm one of your tubes <laughs> that's what I like calling them that there's a there's a nurse or a doctor going crazy fast car don't call it a tube blood tubes how's that and it's gonna be a filter not much different than what they use for dialysis and I don't want to make this too long um, they're going to apply, uh, at first, this will be done at a, a hospital. It will be a somewhat large machine, and sonic waves, I could tell you the frequency and more details, but none of you will know what I'm talking about. Basically, sound you can't hear will be shot uh, into your heart, or at your heart. And if you want to think of it this way, it's going to vibrate like crazy you know how when there's music playing you can feel bass right these are waves this is a frequency well this one will be a much higher frequency but it will be tuned multiple frequencies to dislodge these uh, physical buildups of hard mineral concoctions and various goos and plaques right so what will happen is it will dislodge the stuff from your piping which now will circulate in your system it will go through some tu some tubes plastic or rubber tubing if you want to think of it that way into this filter and out will come clean blood not much different from how a water filter works for those whether you have like a Brita or a Pure or one on your refrigerator maybe with a filter, it's not much different. This is not super high tech. What I can tell you is we have a device about, oh, only like a credit card that will go on your chest, um, essentially taped on over your heart and that has everything all the electronics that right now is the size of a refrigerator um and it's about the size of a credit card powered it'll run about 33 years if you ran it all day and night i won't get into the power source right now but it's <laughs> that's another story and you will wear a um what almost looks like a blood pressure cuff but much thinner around your arm you could wear it as not exceedingly tight button down men's work shirt fancy or a woman and it won't be noticeable it's thin and the credit card device will send out the sonic waves the goo will dislodge and this blood pressure cuff will contain it so it has like a little tank if you want to think of it that way a reservoir and you wear this thing for a certain amount of time uh until you're all cleaned out i'm being slightly cryptic here and then you're just done it's not really invasive it doesn't hurt you won't even know it's happening. you can wear it to bed and you'll be good this will cut down on a lot of heart surgeries and various uh, related issues to such topics but that's one thing uh okay please 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 all right go ahead yeah i'm gonna i really gotta end this people i was looking for three minutes uh 
I was on Calvin's chat. I wonder who you are. And over the years, probably two or three times, you've talked about the Temple Beautiful. Can you talk about that at all? <laughs> I literally have mentioned this maybe two or three times in 12 years, or however long I've been on Calvin chat, C. Sniffer, uh, Thornton, some of you all know him as. Shout out to Calvin. Um, and I'm cryptic for a few reasons. For six more years. No, I can't go into the Temple Beautiful too much. And for those of you that are already typing... I promise you, if you spend 24 hours a day for a week, you're not going to find info on this. It's just not available. But years from now, not 100, not even 50, there will be info on this. And you'll be like, damn, I remember that fast car guy talking about this. Um, what I will tell you, it is a healing center not from around here that regenerates, heals, cures got to be very careful here many diseases, issues, ailments in a way that civilians have no idea how this works it, I'm going to leave it at that. But it's based on... Most people don't understand frequencies that are watching this and waves. But if you want to think of sound and light, but these are just waves. It's just this is how you perceive them. But... For, yeah, in six more years, ask me that question. And what was your second thing? I really, really, really want to end this like to get on Guild Wars. Oh shit, I didn't take my magnesium glycinate, and you should all take that. <laughs> There's, yeah. Okay, I see. Um, what was your second half? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I could do a vid on various supplements, vitamins, chemicals, what you sh some things you most of you don't know. Someone's asking me about Shilajit. Yes, I know what it is. Yes, I've taken it. Not currently. Is it real? If you get a real version of Shilajit, yes, and it does everything they say. However... There's a possible side effect that you don't really ever hear about. But Shilajit is legit and your exact thing. Does it raise testosterone? Yes. It 100% works. It's not going to turn you from a total nerd into me or 1980s or 90s Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, you all say his name wrong. It's not Schwarzenegger. He's not Jewish. It's Schwarzenegger. Be glad you don't know what that translates to. It's not going to do that. It's not, somebody said, is it as good as trend? No one else here even knows what trend is. No, it's not steroid like, but you will get at least a 50 point increase in your testosterone. <laughs> is this night and day? No. If your norm, if your levels are 350 to 450, and you get another 50, it's not going to be night and day, no. But if you're low T for whatever the reason, which does happen, it's noticeable. Uh, this is not medical advice, but in females, it's equivalent to about oh, five times more than it would do in men 
your athletic performance would go way up. You would definitely get hornier and be better at all forms of sex, more aggressive sexually, if you were to use real Sheila Jeet. Um, yes, and women, it would be, it's not enough where you're going to get an Adam's apple and, oh, you know, sound like Marge Simpson's sisters or, you know, a gym teacher's voice, but it would it's pretty impressive what it does to females especially like athletes those that work out but yes Sheila <laughs> Sheila G does, I'm not going to go into other stuff my god you had a third part I really want to end this uh blah 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 This is not related to the... the uh, yeah, so... Why does that name sound... Patrick Squidward? I don't know why. Spongebob. Uh, I've never actually seen an episode of Spongebob outside of maybe one clip once of a few seconds on YouTube. I don't know uh, anything <laughs> about... Anyway, I... I acknowledge your question if you want to contact me privately i will answer that but i don't want to just do that on this particular video as this was supposed to be about this episode but yes everything is a fact uh there's some things they talk about the gf and this is what i deal with When you transferred, f yeah, I'm going to definitely end on this exact thought. What was your rank in the Marines? E7, you know, I was a gunny. And what are you now? I'm a G9. Uh, oh, Guardian. Yeah. I'm not going to go into that in this vid. Anyway, if anyone that's not a moron would like to talk about this episode, you can hit me up in the game or on Discord. Those of you that have my phone number, you are welcome to call me. Uh, can anyone else join you in Throne and Liberty? Sure. It'd be cool if Guild Wars people took that game over. If we had a guild and we smashed all the idiots from WoW and whatever the fuck else these people play that aren't one of us I mean I don't want morons like J, J Mac and countless jobless potheads and junkies outside of lucidity lucidity would be useful again if anyone's not blocked and maybe friendly please pass along the Fazcar has invited Lucidity to play Thrones and Liberty with us. And everything starts fresh. Hopefully, Lucidity's off the dope. But yes, people that are normal are welcome for all kinds of classes. And you'll be starting fresh and new, so everyone will be a noob except me. You know, I'm a pro already. Okay. Yeah, so, ugh, this is so long. Yeah, I'm going to cut it off. Get Hit me up on any Discord I'm on if you would like to chat about such things. Over and out.